There is another lateral line land based fishing mission coming at ya. And this one is a little bit special. We've been contacted by a guy, Gene, who we've never met before from strictly land based fishing in Fitianga. And Gene's like, hey boys, why don't you come up to Woodyanga, Fitianga, sorry, and I'll take you on a land based fishing mission. Gene runs a land based guiding service and he uses a big nine metre cat to get people on and off the rocks. They use kayaks to access land based fishing spots and they do the good old fashioned walk in missions as well. So yeah, this one is a real easy one. All we did was turn up this morning, met Gene, jumped on his boat and we made a pretty considerable run out to a little island. And I don't know a lot about this area, I've done a little bit of fishing here but not a ton. But what I do know is this island is smack bang in the middle of an area where there is a ton of current. And lots of current equals lots of fish and hopefully some monsters. So yeah, got all our gear off the boat onto the rocks and ourselves off the boat and onto the rocks. Gene went and anchored his boat and then he uses a kayak to get from his boat back onto the rocks. And right now the boys are setting up their gear and getting ready for a full on day. Everything right now is perfect I reckon. The water is crystal clear. We've got a bunch of burly, there's fishing rods everywhere. Gene isn't here today to guide us. I said, Gene, get a fishing rod and catch some fish, man. If you can catch a bigger one than me, land, it would be awesome. So yeah, boys are rigging up. It is all good. I got a huge smile on my face. As a cameraman, this place is amazing. Itching to get the drone up and uh, yeah, this one is gonna be wicked cool. You left your glasses at home? Yeah. Yeah, that is a Muppet move, that one, man. Well, I brought them, but uh, they haven't got prescription lenses, so I can't see. Yeah, right off this corner, man, is where we're seeing those fish. Really shallow right in the front here. Yeah. It sort of goes out to the side. You'll see when the sun comes up, about to see in the water a bit more. Oh, Gene's got something. Snapper? Snapper, mate. Looks like it. <laughs> nod, nod, nod. What do you got, Milan? Kawai. You got a kawai? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Mayland's got a big live bait in the water. I haven't filmed a big live bait getting eaten in a long time. Mayland just caught, well, Mayland's just hooked another kahawai. For Gene, so Gene's going to be out with a live bait as well. Well, there's something you don't see very much on the lateral line a big, dirty drum reel. <laughs> Gene's going the, the to show the kingy slayer, mate. The kingy slayer. It's the kingy slayer. It's going to show the spin reels how it's done. Yeah. You do have the very popular VIP, though. Oh, they're my favourite, mate. I can't get, a, can't get away from them, eh? Is that burly bomb number three? Yep. Churning through them this morning, it's hot. That's a wild hat that one, Milan. It's nice and green. <laughs> it's definitely green. It's pretty nice having a burly trail plague full of snapper, but they're all real little ones. There's one or two reasonable sized ones, but the chance of plucking them out is pretty, uh, 
tedious. Well, very, very simply put, the fishing today is a little bit tough. It's actually really tough. Gene reckons there's normally a heap of current on the end of this island, and there isn't today, so today is one of those no current days. The moon phase or whatever it is that is causing the no current is against us. It's not in our favor. There is a lot of snapper here, but the snapper that are here are not of a legal quality edible size. So yeah, the pickings are a little bit slim. Seen glimpses of a couple of little kingfish. Milan did hook a kingfish, a little one, but he got dusted. Other than that, when the boys weren't looking, a huge stingray ate Gene's live bait. I've never had a big stingray eat a huge kahawai before. I've had them eat one little one once, a little live bait that I reckon was dead and sitting on the bottom, but not a big live kahawai. So um, yeah, ended up busting off on that one. On the bright side of life, Milan at five o'clock this morning made us some wild venison salami and salad wraps, which we just consumed for lunch. So I have a full belly and that is a good thing. So anyway, gonna kick back, keep doing our very, very best. At some point, Milan is gonna be put on snapper duty and try to get some snapper of a reasonable size that we can fill it and take into Furianga because Gene says there's a couple of fish and chip shops here that will cook your catch for you. And I reckon that'll be an awesome way to eat fresh fish when somebody else is cooking our catch. So that is the plan at this stage. Fingers crossed that a big machine turns up, big green machine. And other than that, getting some snappers to take to the fish and chip shop. No complaining, none at all. It is awesome. The weather is stunning. The location is stunning. And yeah, enjoying ourselves big time. Oh, you landed a fish, me land. Don't be like that, NATO. <laughs> well done, mate. Big snapper too. Massive. Yeah. Oh. Gene just got a good Trevor. Trevally for a live bait. If that one gets eaten, it's gonna be a good fish. Looks like things are getting a little serious. That's like a whole Mackie. Yeah. Whole Mackie time. What's Get away that gonna from catch? those little peckers, my monster snapper. A monster snapper. Monster. What about dinner? Nah, just a monster. I'll get dinner later. <laughs> Sun's high in the sky. Perfect time for a big snap, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on. There's no shortage of little ones. Bait's gone. Bait's gone. Gonna need a better bait than that, Milan. Big kawai bait, eh? Stay on the hook. Check it out, Milan caught something. Check out your finger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez, man. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, things are a little bit tough and they're only staying that way. So a plan has been hatched. We're about to pack up and move and hope to find some greener pastures or more plentiful waters or some hungry fish. Even just to see a fish right now would be a good thing. I did catch a glimpse of a good kingfish. Well, a reasonable kingfish. And I only managed to film the tail end of it. So um, yeah, that's about the most action we've had all day. So again, packing up, moving on, somewhere better. Here we go.
the boys have arrived at spot number two, and spot number two looks mean. The rock formations here are very, very different and something very cool to film. But not only that, we have an insanely cool elevated view. And if you're the cameraman trying to film fish, eating fish and film fish doing what fish do, then having an elevated position means that you can see into the water a lot better. So I'm smiling from ear to ear. The only negative thing is for some reason my drone is going, I'm not logged into the account or some rubbish. Anyway, long story short, I can't fly the drone more than 50 meters away from me and more than 20 meters high or something. So I can't give you a real idea of just how beautiful these rocks are. It would be insanely cool to be flying the drone right in the full length of this island and just give you a full look at where we are. Because again, it is stunning, but there's already kawai swimming around down underneath us. The boys are trying to get some fresh liveies. And then it's on. Bring it on. Big fish, any fish, something to eat. It's all possible. Why not, eh? That looks like a dinner fish bait if ever I've seen one mainland. Jeans on dinner too. Trying to catch some dinner fish. The boys are hunting snapper fish for dinner. Fish and chips, Mayland. Get him, Mayland. Did you get him? You did get him. Oh, it looks pretty good. At least when we go to the fish and chip shop, we've got a respectable snapper now. Yeah, we're not taking in babies as well, eh? If I can't catch kingfish, I might as well catch dinner. You did real well. I'm impressed. I like him a lot. <laughs> He's going to taste awesome. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Big bait number two. Well, I think the moral of today's story is that fishing is just that. It's fishing. It's not catching. Sometimes I wish it was. Nah, actually, no, I don't. We love it. We love it for what it is. We love being out in the wide open spaces and love the challenge of just getting out there and trying to catch something to eat. But today's gone from tough to tougher to toughest. And we have one snapper to show for a full day's fishing. But we do have big smiles on our faces. We've just spent an entire day out in the wide open spaces and new places and meeting new people. So it is all good. We are going to call this one right now and not beat ourselves up for the rest of the day. Staying at a good friend of mine, Joe Fisher's place tonight. Joe and his partner, Joe, staying in Fidianga. He's got a little B&B underneath his place. so. The boys are treated to um, a little bit of comfort on this one. So yeah, gonna get packed up here, get back into town, find something to eat, just chill out, relax, have an early night, and then tomorrow morning, alarm clocks are going off early, and we'll get back into it and see if tomorrow we can uh, turn the tables and catch some fish and have some more fun. But tomorrow there is a huge fishing tournament that is being fished well, how do I explain this? There's a shotgun start on a fishing tournament tomorrow morning that has like 250 boats in it. Not only that, there's a $200,000 prize that, as I understand it, on the biggest billfish. It's a game fishing tournament. So there's gonna be 200 plus boats in the bay tomorrow. So we might have a little bit of a late start because trying to launch the boat and trying to deal with um, the other 200 boats that are there could be a bit tough. So yeah, don't quite know how this one's gonna go yet. Maybe we'll just do a walk in something. Anyway, packing up, head it in. It's gonna be good, I'm sure of it. Tide shop, we'll call that the tide shop, not the opening shop.
the tired shot. You got knackered. You took it out of me. It was a big day. Mm, in the sun. Big day in the sun, got mate. Walk, got a walk in today. You're going to catch a fish today? I hope the current's moving today. Because there wasn't a lot of current <laughs> yesterday and there wasn't a lot of fish biting. That wasn't my question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have fun today, Nato. Good on you, mate. Day two of a strictly land-based fishing mission is well underway. Myself and Milan were out of bed nice and early this morning, got all our gear packed up. Milan did a bit more rigging because um, he got dusted yesterday. <laughs> Jumped in the truck and then we met up with Gene at 5.30 this morning and then a little drive and a pretty considerable walk. I think it would have taken us the best part of an hour to get to where we are. Why do we do it to ourselves? Because <laughs> it's fun, man. It is. You love this stuff. It's fun when you get to the end. <laughs> <laughs> Sell the boat, Mainland reckons. we not got no money. I need to build my house. <laughs> need a bigger boat. <laughs> we need a bigger boat. We need a bigger boat and a boat with wheels. Then we can just drive and park out on the beach. Yeah, that's the plan, eh? But it was um, a great way to start the day. Getting out of bed early, getting on your feet, and watching the day break. I think the day breaking is the best part of the day. And when you get out of bed early, then um, the day doesn't seem to go so fast, and you get to enjoy more of it. So, um, yeah, it was a good walk in. We found our spot. The boys are getting all their gear set up and then Gene went off to find some kinna, whack some kinna up, threw that in the water and before you know it, there's kawaii, there's snapper, Milan squawking about a big snapper in the water already and we've been here five minutes. So um, today looks, the first five minutes of the fishing today looks better than our whole day yesterday, which is a good thing because yesterday was a little bit slow. But going on what I've just seen today is going to be a whole lot better. So yeah, smiling from ear to ear. This one should be a lot better than yesterday's one. Bring it on. That big car, too. They are, man, yeah. This is all the big oh, fish are, eh? What a day in fishing can be. We had no fish yesterday, and today we turn up and there's fish everywhere. There was no current out of the island, so the idea was to come in closer where there is no current and hopefully that's where the fish are and there's heaps of fish. Just chucking a, a sluggo around for a kingfish and had a big snapper come up and try to eat it. So I'm going to put a big paddle tail out and see if I can get that snapper to come up and eat it. We've got so many kawai down there, it's going to be really hard to get a bait in the water. So trying something a little bit different that that snapper can just come up and consume might just be the way of catching them. But I don't know. Oh, what do you reckon, Nato? Give it a whirl, man. You reckon that's it? What yeah, just... bigger hook? No, nah, that'll... If he hits the... If he bites the right end, it's all good. I'll just work it slowly, then the, um... Car wash didn't whack it. Yeah. Yeah, the car wash. Oh, car wash got it. <laughs> Maybe the snapper will eat your car wash. Beautiful live bait. Oh. It was a beautiful live bait. Wow, good snapper for the first snapper of the day, Nato. You did better with like four casts than you did for an entire day yesterday. Well, on par with yesterday. He's a beauty, Milan. You can't get a bait down through those car wires, so we thought a soft bait might be better. As Nathan said, all of yesterday, no fish, and then today, everything you chuck in the water is just getting eaten. It's so cool. That's why we, that's why bad days in fishing are awesome because it makes today just so much easier. It's so much better. But early in the day for you, mate, you're gonna have to go home. The boat wash can go away. Yeah, it's all boat waves, eh, from yep. the fishing tournament. See if I can get that big one now, eh? Just full on. It's just full on. It's the way fishing should be. <laughs> Put a big enough bait on so the car can't eat it. Catch a big snapper, catch a big kingfish. 
have some lunch, repeat. <laughs> Confidence is a lot higher today. <laughs> Did you hear that? Catch a big kingfish, catch a big snapper, repeat. Oh, get out of it, kawaii. Catch a big kawaii on your big snapper bait. Oh, you ate it. Oh, what's that one? Kawai, I think. Goes like Another that. kawai. No, snapper. Big Is one. it? The big one, Nathan. The big one? Yep. How big? The big one. Well, well how big's the big one? Well. It's a good one, look at him. <laughs> well, maybe not the big, big one, but it's a monster. <laughs> it's the same size as the one you caught. Nah, it's bigger. Yeah, yeah, it is. Look at it. <laughs> It's a snapper though. Man, if we caught that yesterday afternoon, I would have been stoked. Quality snapper. Definitely a good idea to get in, get out of the islands and get in on the coast. He thinks he got away all by himself, but you're going to let him go anyway, eh? I was, mate. <laughs> oh. Let it sit, see if they'll just pluck it off the surface. Nearly, they're like kissing it, eh? They just won't. I oh, ate it. Oh, oh. I missed the strike, man. <laughs> Did you fool that, mate? No, no. Yeah, I got that one. Check that out for a pitch bait at a kingfish. We've had a few kingies coming in. And they've had a go at sluggos and a go at stick baits and just about eaten dead baits, but I reckon a whole dead flying fish. That's got to do something, right? He looks awesome. Yep. Yeah. Oi, oi, oi. Now you're in trouble, man. Kingfish just ate a soft bait right at our feet. And I wasn't forming. Would you? <laughs> no, I can't film every cast. Oh. My phone will just get filled up with footage and then we won't be able to film anything. Okay, I think we're going to film this now, don't More than a walk, I reckon. Let's see if we can get him. Yeah. He ate that like half a metre off the rock. <laughs> ate a soft bait. Of all the things, he had that yep. flying fish ready to go as well. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Can't do much, I'm just a passenger on this one. <laughs> Getting run down the coast. Back the other way. <laughs> Still strong. This is like the old merry-go-round the bush, man. Down the coast that way, down the coast this way, down the coast that way, around the circles, up and down, left and right. Oh, oh. Oh, turn, turn. Gonna Don't get turn. you. He's gonna get you. <laughs> Looks like Ming Lane's winning. He looked good when he ate on the right next to the rocks. You got him, Ming Lane. <laughs> You did it, you got a kingfish. I got a kingfish. What an epic morning. Just so cool from yesterday, having no fish on the coast and it was just so quiet, there was no snapper in the burly trail or what there were, were little tiny ones. We saw a couple of kingies all day and they were tiny. And then today there's kingies going through the burly trail all day. We had some solid fish through. It's 
just awesome. Cool location as well. Cool walk in this morning. All right, mate. We're going to go back to our burly trail and you can go back to the ocean. That's how you do it, NATO. That's it, mate. Winner, winner. Just whip it in there and smash out a big one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Think it's time to stick a live bait on, kick back and watch the clouds roll by, Minglan. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> Nato said I'm not allowed to catch any snapper anymore until we go home so we can eat them. And we've only really just got to catch a massive kingfish now and we're done. So we might as well just kick back as nice and deep and just enjoy the day. Run a big live bait and pray that a massive kingfish just turns up and eats one of those big car wipes. The afternoon snapper catching session has started. Go Jean. That's dinner time, mate. <laughs> it's the dinner bells ringing. That's a bigger one. He's in again. <laughs> oh, the soft baits too, mate. Yeah, it's awesome. It's another keeper, isn't it? It's definitely a keeper, man. I've been casting baits all day trying to get a fish like this. <laughs> no luck and I go to cast the soft bait now, get a couple of nice fish. It's not the norm, eh? <laughs> hey, at least we're eating fish tonight. Yeah, it's better than last night. Go Jane! You're my yeah, hero, the boys. man! Yeah, the boys. <laughs> we need to get Milan on a soft bait. I think so. Oh man. That is just what the cameraman ordered. <laughs> Beautiful, mate. Beauty, man. Good fun yeah. on the soft bait, too. Oh, hell yeah. Well, it's two casts and two fish. Too easy. Let's see if I can do it one more time, man. Get a bigger one again, eh? I'll film this time and see if I can get a strike. Yeah, I think I made it to the bottom that time. Oh, I got one. You got one on You see that? Mm, I don't know if I hooked it unless it's something else. The Trevor maybe? The Trevor maybe, or a Kawai, Fowl Hop Kawai. That's three casts and three table fish. I think I upgraded with my Trev too, man. I'm thinking I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. Come on, Mr. Trevor. Be good to us, be good to us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he looks real cool right there. Ah, oh, that bit there just looks epic. Cool, man. Wicked, bro. Thank you, boys. That was the one that did the damage. That was, mate. All three fish. Little paddle towel. Pink and blue. Man, if you go four for four, this is going to be crazy. Let's do it, bro. <laughs> Let's do it, bro. Four for four. Here we come. Whole Mackie up next. 
Look at that. It's beauty, mate. Gonna be a big snapper that one, NATO. Everyone, every bait's a big snapper bait. Good day, though. Can't complain about our day. Got your dinner even, brother. Got me dinner even. Well, the day is coming to an end really, really quickly. We've got like a half a dozen baits left to try and catch a couple more snapper, but we've already got three snappers and a trevally in the bag to take home, so a feed of fresh fish tonight is on the cards, and that puts a big smile on my face. Choo choo, my brothers and sisters. Thank you all so very, very much for watching The Lateral Line. You are truly greatly appreciated, and without you, The Lateral Line wouldn't exist. And I just want to stop right now and say a big thank you to our longest standing partner that we have supporting us and supporting the lateral line right now, and that is Brave Designs in Auckland. Glenn, Rod, Kelly, Dane, and all the brothers and sisters up there, thank you very, very much for your constant support. Brave Designs sign ride our trucks. They completely wrapped our boat Sojin inside and out. They also wrapped Luke's boat Evo, the Marlin machine, inside and out. And they are about to wrap Hamish's land-based fishing boat. What did he call it? Porter Ledge. Yeah, Brave Designs are about to wrap his boat as well. So yeah, to you boys and girls, brothers and sisters, thank you also very, very much. Without you, we wouldn't look as good as we look. Cha cha. Nothing beats knowing the end is in sight of a big project you take on. There's always highs and lows in any project, and wanting it finished becomes more and more on the brain. But you have to compose yourself and get an understanding that the things you need completed just take a heap of time, just like everything else has in the past. The concrete slab is slowly getting ready for the timber floor to be laid. Andre is confident that if we can get a great platform to lay the floor, then we're going to be sorted all the way through. As always, Andre is about doing it right, and he said if we get that great surface to lay on, then it's going to be easy to lay the floor. And he said if we don't, I'm going to absolutely hate laying that timber floor. As always, listen to the man that knows what he's talking about, and go and do the stuff that you're good at. For me, that's getting out there and getting the sander ready and getting the planer going and starting the marathon run of sanding and planing over a thousand meters of wall timber, skirtings. But first up, we've got the plinth skirting blocks for the walls. To be honest, it's just a matter of starting this big project and watching days turn into weeks as you just get pile and pile of timber under control. It's a pretty rewarding job, even though you're covered up with dust masks, muffs, hats and gloves. It's hot and it's pretty sweaty. But when you see a rough sawn board sanded down or planed down ready for the walls and all the grains coming out and the true character of that timber is there looking at you in the face, it just puts a smile all over you. It's been a cool job so far. It's almost taken three weeks of sanding. It's slowly coming to an end and then I get to start the planing of the redwood. It's pretty cool but I'm bouncing off the walls with excitement as I get to see the finishing bits starting to happen. Bring on three or four months, then hopefully I'll have my feet up and sleeping in a home that I got to help build. Again, I can't thank you enough, Andre, for being a legend of a brother. NATO said there was no mosquitoes in this bay. Look at this. They're not mosquitoes, they're like some sort of, um... Whoa! How are you getting your vibe, NATO? <laughs> they are mosquitoes, though. They're like, um... Some sort of flying <laughs> in the face. The lateral line is proudly brought to you by Violet Organic Foods.